So I got this hat from being nominated for, uh, you know, they nominate a person from every shipyard in Virginia and they have a contest. I lost the ultimate contest, but you know, I got on stage. There was like six other, five other guys, like the six shipyards. And uh, the other dude was unbeatable. He literally donated his time to build a school. You know, it wasn't all about machinists, you know. If it was, I would have won. But because, you know, I um, learned CNC on my own and uh, basically taught myself. I had a little bit of help. Somebody gave me a program, but uh, basically I figured out everything on my own. And I was putting it all on flash drives. So I think that beat out his machining, but they also graded on, you know, like he gave away free turkeys to, you know, the homeless and, you know, donated his time to design and build a school or something like that. I couldn't match, I couldn't match that. Man. <laughs> no way, no way. I had my hands full of uh, Steel America. So, uh, just if you're too crazy, just remember, I'm the son of a nutcracker. <laughs> I said total mouth rebuild, but I do have two permanent teeth still left. The top uh, teeth in, my, in this picture is just a placeholder. I had 12 crowns across the bottom. The bottom is completely finished. The estimate was 300,000 pesos. It came in at 325,000 pesos. The 25,000 pesos were for two unexpected root canals with two posts. I think that's pretty good. He's a very honest man. This is a talisite tree, just like uh, the little babies yesterday I saw y'all on the beach, along with that one out there that's on the beach. It's a smaller talisite. And, uh, this tree, I remember what this tree is now. My wife uh, stopped to get some on the side of the road. I want some Addis. That's what grows on here. But I found out, you know, the last one, it grew the fruit. It already grew some fruit, but it turned black. So I don't know. I didn't know what to do. So I found out that you got to put a bag around it. When they when the fruit come, you got to put a bag around it to keep the bugs from killing it. But I'm not sure that I think these were supposed to be the fruit right there. Maybe that's just the, what's the flower. I don't know when the fruit comes or nothing. The salt kind of turned it dark, well, the leaves dark, but it recovered. So. So they turned them like that. When the storm happened and the salt sprayed up here, I don't know what to do about that because that's just going to be how it is, really. Oh, I need to prune it. I don't know what the limb is doing so low. Good diet, huh? This is a lot of big leaves right here from the street uh I'm going to rake them all up. <laughs> Get it going right. Got to look good from the balcony editing area up there and the coffee and the uh, evening uh, beverages. Oh, very big. <laughs> look at the size of that butterfly. That's got to be lucky. You gotta be lucky, buddy. Oh, he see me. Ah, oh, don't worry. I ain't gonna bother you. Wow. Nice. Very big. That's not a moth either. That's a butterfly, right? Oh, bam. Hey, butt. 
So, keep no laga for lunch. This is for sure. Oh yeah, that's bananas right out of the yard. <laughs> so, the yard contributed. Maybe the yard will be putting in some carrots one day. So, beep the luck. Go. You doing it? Hey, what you doing? Don't bite me. <laughs> you just ran right up here. What are you doing? You want to go over here? No, 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 no. Yeah. Feel good? Come on, you get a. Gotta get over here. Don't stand around. Don't stand bad. Don't stand around. Hey, goat just ran right up to me. Want to scratch the head? So this is my friend uh, Bill's house. I'm gonna see if he's here. Bill from Iowa. I couldn't see if his car was down here. I'm gonna walk down here. See if this car is here. How about that? Yeah, that was a friendly goat. You see, goats ain't like that. They're gonna walk right up to you like that. Stranger, never saw me before. I think I'm allergic to goats. <laughs> allergic to hairy stuff, eh? Oh, this car is here. Hello up there. This car's right there. Hello. He's doing a good hat job on his house too. Hi. So it looked right now. Like, is Bill here? He's sleeping? Yeah. Huh? What? Oh, uh, Bill is here? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So the house looks good. Oh. Hey, Bill. <laughs> I couldn't tell when I went by, like, I couldn't tell, so I parked. I'm going to walk down here and see is he, um, <laughs> you working on it? Right now? Uh, I got a slow leak in the tire. I was going to take the tire off. Oh. Find a leak. Oh. Yeah, you know, I ran over uh, two of my tires. Got plugs in them right now. Pat, patch on the inside with a plug and a patch on the inside. Yeah. I don't know. I'm running over stuff all the time. There was a key sticking in mine. Huh. Somebody lost a key on the road. And, uh... I saw that man this key halfway out. I wasn't going to take it out on the road because right. I wasn't going to make it to the place. Yeah. So your rain just comes out of that pipe? What's that? The rain just comes out of the pipe? Yeah. And then I've been over here oh, on working this on side. I got, I got it all. Yeah. All of them tied together and dumping out. I haven't right. done this side of the house yet. Right. And that's a lot of rain around here. Sure. Oh my God. It's so crazy. <laughs> when we had the rain, this last bit of rain, you know, for two days or whatever. I like that tile. The, uh, there's so much water. Well, this was, this, this, this lot. Stays when, when good I right dug, here. When I dug down, you know, two foot down, it was water. Mm. And uh, when we originally, we were going to build a septic. Mm -hmm. You know, concrete and septic. You know, they were gonna block one in. And all. Right. Man, water tables. I, I, <laughs> they kept trying to dig a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole, and I said, you know, and they, I said, I, so I went and got a pump, sub pump, right, you know, a, a utility pump, right, just one electric one, and I put it over in the corner. But finally, when we got done, I ended up putting in a. And uh, you like this milk right there, huh? You like that milk? Milk, yeah, you do, yeah. I thought it tasted kind of. I drink Arla now, I've had that. I, I switched, but 
I just, just recently, just yesterday, I went to San Jose and I said, man, I gotta quit drinking this whole milk. Cause it, when I was in the US, I only drank 2%. I never drank whole milk right. anymore. And they don't have no 2% here. They got so, Arla so fat free. Got, I just got this fat free milk last, yesterday. Nestle? Um, I don't know what brand it is. Yeah, Arla's got a uh, fat free. Yeah, they got one. It's pretty good, it's not bad. But I think uh, any of the Arla's better than this. I don't know, there's a little bit of a taste that I don't like care yeah. for. So, I, like that, I like that tile right there, Bill. Which tile? That brown one over there. Oh, over really? there? Yeah. That's in my bathrooms. Come yeah. on in. Okay. Inside. Yeah, Bill did his own countertops and wow, it looks good and got, you know, some um cabinets and stuff from city hardware wow it really looks good too i like how it matches matches right up to the yeah that looks good bill it really do look at it oh yeah man yep looks good didn't take long to fill them all up i like it three different kind of tricycle For you. Got a lot of artwork here and there. A little different colors. Different artwork. For you. And just a little restaurant back there. That's a nice house right there too. I like the house. beans right here. This is like long string beans. It's like string beans in the uh, U.S. but longer. I think it is. That's good.